Hi, this is Dave Wilbur from AppInventor.org. I am going to show you how to build the classic Paint Pot app in App Inventor 2. Okay, so I'm going to create a new project. I'm going to call this guy Paint Pot. And it's just a drawing program. You can kind of draw on pictures. I'm, I'm going to show you how to use the camera so the user can take a picture of the camera and then draw on that picture. Okay, um, so anyway, here's the App Inventor Designer. Okay, and the main object I'm going to have is this canvas object. This is where you can draw things. You can also do animation in a canvas, okay? But we're going to use it for drawing. And anytime you bring in a canvas, almost always, you're going to fill parent, okay? So it's going to take kind of the whole screen width-wise. And height-wise, I'm going to actually choose some number of pixels, in this case, 300, because um, I'm going to leave room for some, some buttons for our, for our Paint Pot app, okay? And in fact, I'm going to add some of those buttons to start. Um, and what I'm going to want is... I don't know, first a screen arrangement, okay, it's a horizontal arrangement. This is just so I can have a row of buttons that kind of line up together, okay. And then what I'm going to do is just grab three buttons, drag them out, stick them into this horizontal arrangement. There's one, there's two, and notice I'm sticking them right directly in there. And these are going to be my color buttons, so I'm going to be able to click on these buttons to change the color of what gets drawn. So the first one here, I'm going to put the text red there, okay, and maybe since I'm here, I'll also change the color to red, okay. And then the second one will be my green button, okay, and I'll change the color to green, okay, and then my third button will be my blue button, okay. Of course, you could add as many colors as you want, but we're going to have three colors for now, and they're all arranged in, in a row. Okay, um, I'm also going to rename these buttons because I'm going to show you how to, you know, actually specify the behavior for this app. And we're going to be in the blocks editor. And if you go over to the blocks editor, this is where you do behavior. You'll notice all you see is the names of the objects. So, so you know, you really want to give them descriptive names so that when you get over to the blocks editor, you know what you're talking about. So I'm going to rename this guy the red button. Right, he's got red as his text already, but I'm going to rename him as the red button. And I usually give component names which have the component type at the end and then some description at the start. Okay, so the second guy I'll call the green button um, and the third guy I'll call the blue button. Alright, so we're getting there here. So I've got my three buttons. I've got this canvas. Now one thing I want to do on my canvas is I want to you know put some picture and you know for for this app I'm going to start off with a picture of Hal Abelson. He's the creator of App Inventor. His cat. Okay. So on my computer I've already stored this picture of, of his cat. And I'm just going to drag this guy in. Um, oh, sorry. This is just my file manager. Oh, there's there's the kitty. Okay. Uh, but what I want to do is come to Canvas, go to background image, upload new, browse. And then I'm going to choose that same kitty picture if I can find it. Okay. Um, let's see. Hopefully we'll get the same kitty picture. Let me open this guy up. Say okay. And here comes my cat. Okay. So there's my cat. So this is my canvas background. I got three color buttons. I'm going to show you how to draw dots and lines on here so you can do pictures. Okay, but we're also going to do a, a few more things. We're going to have one more screen arrangement down here and some more buttons that will activate some things for us. Okay, and we're going to have a number of buttons. One is a take picture button. So we're going to be able to change the kitty to a different picture. The user is going to be able to take a picture. So I'm just going to say take picture here. Okay, and I'm going to rename the, that button picture button. Okay, and realize, you know, right now these are just kind of objects that do nothing, right? We're going to add the behavior later. Okay, I'm going to add another button, which is going to be for clearing the whole, um, all my drawing, you know, whatever I draw on top of the, of the picture. And so I'm going to call that the clear button. Okay, and then we're going to mess around with kind of changing the size of the circles we draw. And so for now, at least, I'm just going to have two buttons, one called small and one called um, large, okay, and let me drag one more in here, and the text on that one will be large, 
Okay, and that's really what's going to happen is that's going to change the size of the um, circles people draw. So that's a small button. Here's a what we're going to call a large button. Okay, so I've got all my UI components. I just need one more component, and this component is called a non-visible component. Okay, and it's in the uh, media section, and it's called camera. So I'm just going to drag it. Notice when I drag it in. It shows up below in this non-visible component area it's because it's not really going to show up on the interface. But think of the camera component as you know this, you know it's going to get launched at some point in our program and it'll allow the user to take pictures. Okay, so it's got some functionality we need in our app. So that's why we add the the camera component. Okay, so I've kind of set up my design for my app. Okay, my next step is going to be I'm going to go to the block center and show you to make you know make the canvas work so I can draw stuff and make all the buttons work.